Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for July 15th. July 15th is the 196th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 197th in leap years, with 169 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is Ziziva. <laughs> Merriam-Webster didn't have Ziziva, but they're not the only dictionary in the bookshelf, are they? Ziziva has an entry in both Wikipedia and Wiktionary, as well as Dictionary.com and CollinsDictionary.com. Ziziva is likely to be the last word in such dictionaries as it may appear. The name Ziziva was formally published along with the description of a genus of weevil by coleopterist Thomas Lincoln Casey Jr. in 1922. A coleopterist, by the way, is someone who studies beetles. Ziziva is a noun that is part of the name of any of various South American weevils of the genus Ziziva, who often happen to be destructive to plants. Since there's no word remotely like this in either Greek or Latin, Casey most likely just made up a name that would appear at the end of alphabetical lists. Pretty clever. Interestingly, Ziziva is also the name of a West Coast literary journal founded in 1985 based in San Francisco, California. And look, their logo features a beetle. <laughs> There's also a word study and word adjudication software program called Ziziva, which is used at Scrabble tournaments. This program is described as the last word in word study. Seems like people like the notion of the last word. Ziziva. Ziziva was suggested by one of my viewers. If you have a word you'd like me to explore in the word of the day section, pop it in the comments. And if I can find a definition for it, we'll talk about it. And with that, we're going to start with the dedication of the Temple of Castor and Pollux in ancient Rome in the year 484 BC. Castor and Pollux are mythological twins born of the same mother, but with different fathers. Castor's father was a mortal, and Pollux belonged to Zeus. Pollux asked Zeus to let him share his own immortality with his twin brother, to keep them together, and as a result, they were transformed into the constellation of Gemini, the twins. Castor and Pollux are regarded as patrons of sailors and are also associated with horsemanship. The reconstructed Church of the Holy Sepulchre was consecrated in Jerusalem on July 15th in the year 1149. This is the birthday of Dutch painter and etcher Rembrandt born July 15th, 1606. He lived to the age of 63. The Rosetta Stone was found in the Egyptian village of Rosetta on July 15th, 1799 by French Captain Pierre-Francois Bouchard during Napoleon's Egyptian campaign. On July 15th, 1806, Army Lieutenant Zebulon Pike began an expedition from Fort Belfontaine near St. Louis, Missouri to explore the West. On July 15, 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte surrendered aboard the HMS Bellerophon. Spanish Inquisition was officially disbanded on July 15, 1834, after nearly 356 years. This is the birthday of songwriter Dorothy Fields, born July 15, 1904. If that name doesn't ring a bell for you, perhaps you've heard of some of her work. She wrote such songs as On the Sunny Side of the Street, I'm in the Mood for Love, and Big Spender. Ms. Fields lived to the age of 69. On July 15, 1916, William Boeing and George Conrad Westervelt incorporated Pacific Aero products, later renamed Boeing. On July 15, 1954, we see the first flight of the Boeing 367-80, prototype for both the Boeing 707 and C-135 series. Today's song is Shadow Dancing by Andy Gibb, number one on July 15, 1978. Andy Gibb was the youngest of five children. His three older brothers had formed the group the Bee Gees. 
While the four of them occasionally performed together, they were separate acts, the Bee Gees and Andy Gibb. This disco hit was written by all four of the brothers Gibb, performed by Andy, released in April of 1978. It actually hit number one back in June of that year, making this the fifth week of seven at the number one spot. Andy Gibb had struggled with wild living and drug abuse and died shortly after he turned 30 in 1988. Heartbroken by the shocking news of his passing, his fans can be consoled by the great music he left behind, including Shadow Dancing, number one, July 15th, 1978. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> and you can also find me on Rumble and BitChute. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Microphone over there. Hello! <laughs> okay. With 202 days remaining to the end of the world. Uh, end of the year. <laughs> not, please, not the end of the world. 202 days remaining to the end of the year. <laughs> Let's read that one again. <laughs> yep, it is. That's what it's called. All right. Third time better be a charm. <laughs> There's no the there. <laughs> one more, one more time. <laughs> Attra attracting. Just read the whole thing over. Are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> And yeah, we're going to edit that out. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right. Back to work. I think we got it this time.